Now then, a few people have asked me lately to do an update of the pond. So this is just a very brief video showing you what it's like in mid-June. Still mucky, all churned up because of all the carp that are in here. It's a clear lined pond so they just keep digging up the bottom, making a real mess. The vegetation's coming away pretty well around the sides so it's greened up a bit. Nice big skunk cabbage there. Gunnera, iris. There's all sorts of plants around the sides. Some nice shuttlecock ferns there. And there's all sorts of fish in the pond. I've just chucked some food in so they're all up and feeding. I'll go down onto that platform and try and get a bit of a closer view for you. There's one of the resident terrapins. It'll no doubt be looking for a bit of food. It's got a beard made of food there. If I view the pond from the top end of it, where the spring comes in, it gives you some idea of the scale of it. It's over 30 meters long by about 26 meters wide, five meters deep. It's a hell of a size. And recently I put a log cabin up here. So that's where I do all my work. There's a boat in that little boathouse there, full of water at the minute. But I sometimes go out in the boat with the kids. And there's lights on that platform there. It's actually four lights. And on a night, when you're up there, looking out, the whole of the pond's illuminated. Looks quite nice. Should get a video of it, really. I think I've seen some of the bigger carp. I'll try and get a video of them, fellas. They're fairly shy, though. Yep, it's definitely one of the big lads just off that front of the platform there. That big fella's quite a size. It's about four foot down from the top of here. So it's well over two foot long. Some nice mirror carp as well, which are even shyer than that big lad. I don't think they're gonna put an appearance in though. Now obviously this pond is way too big to filter, so I've got a decent sized air pump, it sits in here, it pumps air up into the middle of the pond, it's just a half inch pipe, there's no fitting on the end, it produces pretty big bubbles, I might swap that out for a, um, like a, a leaky pipe to produce smaller bubbles, so I may stick that on the end of this video if I get around to doing it. And just under this platform, there's a Aquamax Eco 16,000 pump, which pumps out here. This attachment is a Venturi, 
the little hole in the top of it. So as the water is blasting out, it draws air in, mixes the air with the water and then spits it out in like an oxygenated column of water. So that provides a good bit of current. And the current kind of goes around the main bowl of the pond. There's the big lad again. This is just a nation of fish in here. There must be hundreds and hundreds of them. And I think I'm getting some more tonight as well. Alright, this is an update on the update. I've swapped out the ordinary hose for some leaky hose that you would use in irrigation. Basically just wound it up in a big old coil, plugged that into the end of the existing one, and now I've got a hell of a lot of tiny little bubbles, which is a much better effect. It'll do the water a lot more good than that other thing. A bit quieter as well. This is a bird's eye view, standing on top of my deck in here, just near the log cabin. There you go, much better. That's it, very quick update on the pond. Some people wanted it, hope that appeases you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.